Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Sewing 201, the beginning of garment sewing. So today we're going to do body measurements. I already posted the article on this where I use the live model, but today I'm going to be using my helpful dress form right here. So before you get started, please wear your normal everyday underwear. If you wear shapewear normally under your clothes, you should wear it before you take these measurements as it will affect your measurements and you can get a piece of string or ribbon and tie it at your natural waist. Now your natural waist isn't where you normally put your jeans or anything, it's slightly above your belly button if you have a flat stomach or more accurately it's at the level of your elbow. So that's your natural waist and it's usually the narrowest part of your body under your ribs and that's where you should put this because this is going to affect a lot of your measurements so you try and get that accurately please your natural waist not your lower waist not where you wear your trousers your natural waist so let's get into video and start taking the first measurements first measurement the neck you take at the fullest part of the neck which is at the base of your neck and you try and keep your tape like this at this angle, that will give you the largest measurement, which will be very accurate. So, neck, and we have across the shoulder. You go from shoulder bone across the back to the other shoulder bone. Do not add your arms into this. Your shoulder bone, you can feel it when you touch your shoulder, or if you raise your arm up, you should feel the dimple there. So, you want to go from that point. To the other end across the back. Then we have the shoulder. Go from the base of the neck to the shoulder bone. So that's just one single shoulder. Next you have across the chest. You're simply going to go from armpit to armpit but do not put the tape into your armpit. You should just stop you know, the tape should be fairly flat across your chest. Don't dig it into your armpit. Just fairly flat across your chest. Next, you go across the back. From armhole to armhole. Same like the front. Keep your tape fairly straight. Do not dig into the armpit. Just to the armhole and across to the other armhole. Please stand in a natural comfortable position when taking this measurement. We'll take your upper bust. Your upper bust is right under your arm, but above your bust line, and it goes round the body like that. So it's above your bust, but it's under your armpits. Next measurement. Your bust is at the fullest part of your bust, the fullest point of your bust. Keep your measuring tape straight in front and straight at the back. Next, we'll take your apex. You go from nipple to nipple. Next, you have your waist. As I said, this should be your natural waist. Once again, keep your tape straight in front and straight at the back. Then we have center front. You go from your collarbone a bone at your neck, straight down. Don't press the tape into your body when you do this. Any excess here or difference in space between your bust and your waist will be taken up by darts. Just go over the bust and straight down to the waist. Don't press the tape in. Let it just go straight down. That's your center front measurement. Your center back measurement from the bone at your neck, straight down to the waistline. Once again, try to stand in your natural posture. Now we're going to take the bust that you go from the highest point of your neck, right here, across, down to your bust, the highest point of your bust or to your nipple. 
So that's why I'm stopping. This is your bust step or your shoulder to bust measurement. Now we're going to take the full length measurement. This is like an extension of your bust step. You start from the high point of your neck over your bust and straight down to your waist. Once again, don't push the tape into the body. Just go, this should lie flat, touch your bust and just go straight down to the waistline like that. This is your full length measurement for the front. We're going to take an identical measurement at the back. From the same spot, straight down to the waist. This is your full length for the back. Now you're going to take your side measurement. Your side measurement is from your armpit to your waist. Don't dig into your armpit. You want to be slightly below your armpit, about an inch below your armpit when you take this measurement. And keep your arm down when you take this measurement so that your body is relaxed and you don't stretch out the measurement. So just go about an inch below your actual armpit to the waist. Try not to put the tape too high into your armpit. Otherwise, when we draft, your arm will be too tight. And finally, you're going to take your armhole, which is actually just putting this tape around your armhole. So just pass the tape over your shoulder, under your armpit till it touches, and you get a round measurement. That's your armhole. Now we're starting with below the waist measurements. First off, High hip. High hip is where your hip bones or pelvic bones start. This is where you normally wear your low-waisted jeans or trousers. About that point. Or slightly over your abdomen, if you have a bit of an abdomen. That is your high hip. And you keep the tape fairly straight. Next, we're going to take your actual hip. Your actual hip is on the widest part of your body over your bum. Make sure it goes round your bum, find the fullest part and that is where you want to place it. Now, at this point I will advise you to mark where that tape is. You can just use chalk or a pin or a little marker, just a little spot and note where that tape is. Now for the next measurement, you're going to do your hip depth. So, what we take from your waist to your hip. That's why you marked that point so that you know where your hip is and that's your hip depth. Next you're going to take from your waist once again at this side and straight down to your knee. Just stop at your knee. Your side measurement to your knee. Next measurement same thing side measurement to the floor. A good trick is to you can just step on the tape to keep it straight and note where you step up. <laughs> so that's how you know your waist to floor measurement. This waist to floor measurement is also known as the out seam when we are sewing trousers. Next, you're going to take the in seam. Basically what you do, let me lift this up a little, you go from your inner thigh of your leg at your crotch, your inner thigh, I measure straight to the ground. I'll put up a picture for you to see. But you measure straight to the ground. Keep your legs fairly comfortable and straight. So that's your inseam. Now your outseam minus your inseam will give us your crotch depth. Next, you're going to take your crotch length. Your crotch length is, I'm going to turn this sideways. You go from your waist at the front, you go from your waist at the front to your waist at the back. On the, so you see what I'm doing? Like that. Between your legs, straight to the back, and you stop at the waist. So from your waist tape in front to your waist tape at the back, that is your crutch length. Now the final measurements you're going to take, I'm going to put up some photos. You're going to take 
upper thigh, knee, and ankle. And finally, your foot. This will become more useful obviously when we are drafting trousers and it will make sense. But you are going to take those measurements. Now, we are going to cover the arm. Basically, you need your full length. Let's see if we can manipulate this. You want to go from your shoulder down to the wrist. Now, the thing with the arm, you are going to keep your arm slightly bent. Don't do it perfectly straight. You keep your arm slightly bent and then you pass that tape. You pass the tape over your elbow to your wrist. So it should go at the back of your elbow to your wrist and your arm should be slightly bent. You should get someone to help you do this and you should stop at your wrist. So you're going from shoulder bone through the back of the arm to the wrist. Next, you have your underarm measurement. You go from your underarm, once again, don't dig too much into your armpit, just fairly in there. I'm going to hold this up. You're going to go under your armpit to your wrist. Once again, you pass the tape just behind your elbow and you bend your arm slightly. This is to create ease. If your arm is very straight, you get a shorter measurement. You want it to be slightly eased out. So I'm going to put my armpit behind my elbow and once again stopping at your wrist. So that's your underarm measurement. And you take your shoulder to elbow measurement. You go from your shoulder and just straight down to your elbow. We're not curving it around. Just stop at your elbow. That's where you want to stop, right at your elbow. So take a measurement from there to there. Next, you're going to take round your bicep. You're actually just going to put the tape around your bicep like that. Don't squeeze it tight. It should just go around comfortably. You can see I can move the tape a little. That's okay. Then it's good to actually do this. Flex your arm in this direction and take the measurement. That will give you the largest measurement. When you're like this, it's a bit small. This will give you the larger measurement. So that's what you should use. So that's your bicep. Then you should take your wrist. Same with the wrist. Don't make it too tight. Just ease it around, not skin tight. You can live about half an inch extra comfortably around. That's your wrist. And finally, you're going to take your hand. You keep your hand like this and take around this larger circumference here and do that. So keep your arm like that, take around that larger circumference. Because ideally the thing is your hand has to enter your sleeve. We only need your wrist measurement because if you're doing something fitted like cuffs, but ideally when we're drafting we are going to use the hand measurement because that has to fit. So whatever you're drafting cannot be smaller than this. Once again you can live about half an inch ease when you're taking this measurement. As you can see, I didn't make it very tight. Thanks for joining me. And that brings us to the end of the video. I hope you won't have any problems. If you do, just leave a comment below. Once again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of new videos. And next week, we'll start with basic pattern drafting. Thanks for watching. Bye.